all will get stuck underneath here, halfway going down into the tube to shoot. I either use this to try to pry it out or this, depending on how well you can do that. But if that ball is stuck and doesn't come out of here, it won't rotate, it'll be frozen, and you won't be able to use it at all. Mm -hmm. So use one of these, which is in the shed. With the machine off. off. The machine and off. also that if you turn the machine so it turns too fast, sometimes that'll get caught mm -hmm. in there. You don't want to- won't drop down. Right, okay. So this is the spot that it's gonna be. This bar needs to be across like this. If it bends out like that, then two balls are gonna end up going through at the same time. And if it gets stuck, that's where it's jammed and that's what you're gonna to have to try to pry out in order to get it to work. Okay, the mistake I made, this is called delay of ball speed. And I had it going to a nine and no balls came. So then it came real fast. So you, this, you want closer to the middle or towards a one that says that there's very little delay rather than a lot of delay, okay? So this is how often the machine will feed the ball right here, okay? So you got height, um, speed, spin, and then how fast you want the ball to come out of the machine. Once the ball comes by the baseline, you want the next ball to be fed. Great, wherever you are in the court. If you're volleying, obviously that's less distance to the baseline, so you want the ball to be fed a little more frequently. All right, so thank you everybody for coming out. Hopefully that will help you with your ball machine skills. If there are any questions, feel free to reach out to me. If not, happy hitting. All right. Yep.